Hey everyone, welcome back to the Going Zero Waste YouTube channel. I'm Katherine Kellogg and today we are continuing in our series for last minute zero waste gifts. I'm so excited because today we are going to be making holiday lip scrub. I think this is a really fun and super easy DIY. It's a great thing to give to your friends, especially as the cold months go, our lips get chapped. We can use this to exfoliate our lips and that way we can have beautiful kissable lips for underneath the mistletoe this holiday season. So it's incredibly simple. You just need a small container and similar to the one we did last time, we are going to fill it up around three quarters of the way full. Um, depending on the size of your container. These aren't exact recipes because that way you can use any size container that you have lying around. I think that sugar is one of the pretty easy things to get without any plastic packaging because typically you can buy sugar that comes just in a cardboard box at the store or of course you can find it at the bulk store. I like brown sugar because I think it's super festive but also I just really like the size of these granules. I think it's just great for making a lip scrub and brown sugar is brown sugar because it has molasses with it and molasses is also very holiday-y and so it just smells Mm, it just, it smells, it smells like the holidays. It smells like the holiday season. And I store mine in this adorable jar I found at the thrift store that says sugar, just in case I forgot what I put inside. It is nice having labels on your jars because, you know, sometimes you might mix up the ingredients and you might think that you have cornstarch and instead you have baking soda and, you know, there are some things that it's easy to uh, mix up. <laughs> One time my husband, I asked him to soak some garbanzo beans so I could make hummus and he wound up soaking a whole bunch of soybeans. So that was, that was pretty humorous. Okay, so we have this about three quarters of the way filled up and I'm just gonna add a little bit of sweet almond oil. I'm really lucky because I can find this in bulk at Rainbow Grocery. So if you're in San Francisco, you can hit up Rainbow Grocery to get some sweet almond oil. Of course, you can use any oil you like. Um, oils are great because they typically can be found in glass. You can use olive oil or safflower oil. I like safflower oil a lot for skin products. It has a very nice absorption rate. Sweet almond oil has a fairly low absorption rate, so does olive oil, they don't absorb into the skin quickly. And then coconut oil is one of the oils that takes the longest to absorb into the skin. So you can use whatever you think would be best. I also just really like the smell of almond oil. It smells kind of like almonds. So it's also a nice kind of holiday flavor that you might want to put inside. So we're not going to do a ton of oil. That's about two tablespoons. I don't want to, I don't want to soak this through. I just want to get it kind of damp. So we're going to just stir this up and see the texture, make sure that we like it. Cause what we're really looking for is a texture very, very similar to this. We don't want it to be drowning in oil. We don't want it to be sitting in oil. We just want it to be moist. Cause we want it to be able to stick to the skin which it clearly is sticking to the skin and we want it to be able to scrub. It's perfect. So if you have a container about this size, a couple tablespoons of oil will be perfect. So now that we actually have the oil in here, it is starting to condense. So I'm gonna add a little bit more and then probably add another tablespoon on top. I always have my cloth napkins handy when I'm in the kitchen because I make a mess. So let's do a little bit more sugar. Okay, so that's about three more tablespoons of sugar. And then I'm just gonna top with a little bit, probably another tablespoon of oil. I also like doing DIYs like this in batches, you know, as we go along, um, because the higher up you go, the more difficult it is to keep everything mixed. Of course, you could also do this in a much larger bowl and then just decant them into smaller bowls, but I figure why wash another dish? Kind of my motto when it comes to uh, DIYs, cooking, 
how can I avoid cleaning as much as possible? So now we have all that in here. I think that looks really nice. And I'm just gonna put a few drops of peppermint oil because I just really love the scent of it. Super festive. I don't wanna do too many. Just did three drops, just so we can really get the scent. So it smells like the holidays. It's gonna smell like brown sugar, molasses, almonds, peppermint. It'll probably tingle just a little bit whenever you put it on your lips. All right, give it a good shake. Oh yeah, that looks so nice. I can't wait to give this to my friend, Danielle, who's been saying that she's been needing a lip scrub for several months and I keep telling her how easy they are to make them and she won't make it. So now I have made her one and I'm super excited. So if you guys would love to see more of my last minute zero waste DIY holiday gifts, be sure that you subscribe, press the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this and let me know in the comment section down below if you made it and I will see you guys next week with a new video.